Hey guys, Nifty Thrifty Girl here featuring a Singer Model 401A. This of course is a slant shank machine. Very, very popular model. Um, highly sought after vintage Singer. Um, it does have over 30 built-in stitches. Um, access, ac accessible with the two dials here on the front. The front one pushes in, the back one pulls out. And you match the letters on each side with your patterns. Um, there's some patterns outlined up here on the underside of the cam door, but there's also hidden ones with different combinations that you can do that aren't even up there. This machine is in really, really nice cosmetic condition. Um, it has no real paint issues. Um, there is a very light paint rub right here on the top edge of the cam door, but other than that, I mean, there are really no paint dings or, or marks at all. Very, very nice example of a 401. Of course, the 401 uses a Class 66 drop-in bobbin here in the front. And I do recommend that you use vintage metal bobbins if you want to use metal. Um, the newer bobbins that you buy at the store have a protruding center ring. And they can really, really get hung up in these bobbin cases and these bobbin cases do not like the newer metal bobbins. Now, with that said, um, you know, you're not stuck trying to find vintage metal because you can get plastic. The plastic does work in the machine. You just need to adjust the tension a little differently than you would with a metal bobbin. But the plastic ones do not have a protruding center ring and the machines take to them a lot easier than the newer metal ones. Now this particular machine is an, 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 an estate machine. It does have the snap-on cover that snaps on the top that comes with it. It has the original box of accessories in really, really good shape. There's a decal on there. But, and it's very nice. The lid is still very springy. It has both layers of goodies in here. And it includes the straight stitch plate, the um, straight stitch foot, the button sewing foot, this is a special purpose foot, um, this is a seam or fabric guide, and I am sending you three vintage metal bobbins and a plastic. Um, just so you can see, um, you know, how the, how the vintage ones differ from the ones at the store now. And under that is a second layer of slant shank attachments, including the ruffler, the binder, the zipper foot, the hammer foot. It also has a lint brush, a small and large Singer screwdriver, and it also includes the original five cams that came with the, come, that came with the machine. Yes, there are 22 total cams available, but this machine has all of those patterns already built in, so you don't have to mess with changing out a cam. These five patterns are the only ones that are not already built into your machine. So buying any more than these is actually kind of redundant because your machine already creates the patterns on its own. Kind of a little tidbit of information. Um, also included is the original instruction manual with this machine. So we'll put all this back in and what's really nice is once you get that in there, your manual actually sits in the top of the box and still closes. Very cool. Um, this machine is serviced and ready to go, the same as all of our machines always are. Um, I'm going to put this cam in here right now because I'm going to sew with cam. But there's no room for the fifth cam in the box, so the fifth cam can stay in the machine. It really doesn't interfere when you're trying to do other patterns unless you have it on the cam settings, so that's kind of cool. And here we go. And this is your pre presser foot pressure up here. This screw, that is your press presser foot blah, 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 blah. presser foot pressure. <laughs> um, and one thing about this is it does use 15 by one needles. And one thing cool thing about this machine and the 500 and the 503 and the 403. You don't have to buy a special twin needle to do twin needle stitching. You just put two needles up into the um, needle bar side by side. Very cool feature so you don't have to go out and buy a specialized needle for that. Just two needles side by side and you are sewing double needle patterns. Alright, we're starting with a zigzag.
this machine is is very nicely adjusted on the tension some of them are really grumpy and it takes me a long time to dial the tension in sometimes we even have to change out the bobbin case parts a few times before we find parts that will integrate well and let the, the tension be balanced I've got it dialed in pretty well with this this bobbin now you know when you change the bobbin that might change the tension a little bit because these machines are very very finicky when it comes to tension I'm not gonna lie they just are um, okay now I'm gonna do a stitch that I like to test with it's H and L so H on this one I'm pushing and turning L on the back one it's already there and it has to be set on three some of these patterns cannot be made unless your stitch with lever is set on three. If you move the stitch with lever off of three, the combination patterns will not be created. And all that's outlined in the manual. And this is kind of like a domino stitch. I don't know what the proper technical name of it is. I call it the domino stitch. And shipping will be a little extra. I'm, I'm, I'm putting a little more on this machine because the shipping cost goes up significantly when you are including the snap-on case with it. Um, the case itself weighs probably seven or eight pounds, so it, and it has to be packed well. The machine has to be packed inside the case. It, it raises the shipping significantly, so the machine price is a little higher than normal. But... You know, you're not going to get hurt. This is an excellent, excellent condition 401. So, all right, now we're going to access the cam. And all to do that, you just pull out, pull out and turn the back knob, and it goes to the special setting, which is cam. Now, the cam patterns can be adjusted on width. You don't have to leave your width on three. You can go all the way out to five. And, of course, your stitch width is always adjustable. You can stretch or squeeze your pattern length. I kind of like making them tight. This is an arrowhead. And it's making the pattern right now. And There's your airhead pattern. I started kind of loose and I drew it in a little bit. There's the domino. You see it's even on both sides. This is how I test because these machines have a bad habit of not going all the way to the left or the right. So how I test that is I do the domino stitch and I can see if it's not going fully left to right, and this machine is. And if you look at the back side, the tension is good. So once again, this is a 401A. It's ready to go. It comes with accessories and carrying case. My email is underneath the video. Um, email me there if you have any questions. I don't often answer questions on YouTube because I have to go specifically looking for them. So if you have any questions, please, please email me at the email below. Um, this machine is tabletop ready, or of course it can always be put in a cabinet as well. And that is the Singer 401A.